Dr. Paula Farrell of UHS Wilson is the 2018 Bampton March for Babies Chair. And man, she is working to make a change. I don't know if you realize this, but for more than 80 years, moms and babies have benefited from March of Dimes research and education, vaccines and breakthroughs. Sometimes it's completely out of control whether or not a baby is born premature. But there are some ways that women, that moms can help prolong the amount of time that the babies are growing in their bodies. And Dr. Farrell, why don't you tell us some of those things that moms can do? One of the biggest impacts is access to care. And not only at the beginning of the pregnancy, but even prior to becoming pregnant, getting um, adequate health care, as they say, both prior to and throughout the pregnancy is one of the biggest impacts for achieving a healthy pregnancy. If you're not seeing a doctor and if you're not up on top of things, you could have an underlying issue that you weren't aware of before you became pregnant. Absolutely. And that's why we emphasize making sure that you're taking the appropriate vitamins that can prevent a birth defect prior to that conception is hugely important. We've got the March for Babies coming up here in Binghamton. What are some of the ways that the March of Dimes has impacted mothers here in the Binghamton community? Well, first of all, awareness. And through activities such as the March for Babies, where we're drawing attention to these kind of issues and the health care for the moms that is going to hopefully result in the health of a a newborn baby is hugely important. Also, um, information. Um, They have an excellent website to provide information for uh, moms and their subsequent babies, as well as advocacy. I will tell you that as a mom who gave birth to a a premature baby, I was terrified. And I thought that I knew um, because I've worked with the March of Dimes for years and I've done my research and I've been involved in events and I thought you know if my son comes early I will know what to do I'll be prepared but when it happens to you you're not prepared and having a resource like the March of Dimes is just so invaluable because their website is so comprehensive and there are phone numbers that you can call if you have questions if you're not sure is this normal is this not normal maybe uh, you want somebody else to talk to other than your pediatrician that is such a beautiful resource that the March of Dimes provides it absolutely does and there's so much information on that website and knowing that you have a resource that is based on uh, strong medical information and providing Providing resources is really important. You have a place to go that has excellent information. Dr. Farrell, it's my understanding that UHS Wilson has the only local neonatal unit. Is that correct? This is correct. When I was pregnant and uh, we found out that my son was going to be born early, I was delivering at Lord's Hospital and my obstetrician told me that there may, may have been a need for my son to go to the neonatal unit at UHS Wilson. And I was terrified because I thought that it meant I was going to have to stay at Lourdes and my son would be at Wilson and I didn't want to be separated from my baby. But it's my understanding that the neonatal unit at UHS Wilson is actually very welcoming of parents and encourages parents to be with their child. Absolutely. It is very important to have the parents involved right from the beginning. And we encourage the parents to be right there at the bedside. Um, Unfortunately, we don't have a bed for every parent that has a baby in the ICU, but we want the parents at the bedside. We want them involved. That is so important to the health of the baby. You should know that um, if your child needs to go into the NICU, funds raised by the March for Babies here in Binghamton will go toward family support programs and advocacy for the NICU at UHS Wilson Hospital. The money also supports, um, as Dr. Farrell mentioned, prenatal wellness programs research grants, and um, healthier babies as a whole. And if you have a, a soft spot in your heart for babies and you believe that every baby deserves a chance at a healthy life, we would like to encourage you to join the March of Dimes for the March for Babies, which is happening at Otstenango Park in Binghamton on Sunday, May 20th. Registration starts at 10 and uh, the three-mile walk kicks off at 11 o'clock in the morning. Dr. Farrell, I understand there are going to be some other things at the March for Babies. 
babies for other aged family members to do. We're talking about the little people. So we have a picnic lunch. We have a kids zone where um, kids can get in there and play and we have music. It's going to be a great event. If somebody would like to participate in the March for Babies, Dr. Farrell, where can they go to sign up? You can go to marchforbabies.org to sign up and participate. And the funds that are raised for March for Babies in Binghamton help support our local community. Dr. Farrell, thank you for what you do. Thank you for the immense love that you've got for the littlest members of our community and for making such an impact in their lives. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that.